Hello. I like your sound. <clears throat> okay. Well, let me just check my audio real quick. Checking. Test. Testing. Testing. Yeah, that's probably good. Uh, just get right into it. Gonna try and finish this up, and then we got some extra things. Okay, so there are three coins in this area. One is here. One is there. Ah, uh, crud. Ah, uh, crud. Off to a phantasmal start. Saves my lives, though. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Gets rid of all my eggs, though. That's pretty cool. This part's a doozy. This level starts and it, it keeps starting all the time. <laughs> a gnat landed on my freaking microphone, I think. Still dealing with those. And then, like, the last one is in here somewhere. Oh, bodega. Absolutely bodega. I feel like I had to have gotten that one, right? Okay, now let me see here. I got a map, you see. We got us a map. Now there are... I want to say four in the main room here. So go this way. There's one over here. Oh. <laughs> cool. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Three. Wonderful. But you know what? It's whatever. It is whatever, man. Okay, so that's the one on the right side. What do you mean they bounce on this? So, are there any red coins in these rooms? I, I don't think these rooms have any. I'll collect all the coins just to be safe. I mean, I'm not gonna chance it, but... But I don't think that is a thing. Okay, so the room with all the spikes in it. 
Is that even on this map? Oh, yeah, because I'm, I'm in the upper right. Yeah, so there's one red coin in here. And it is that. This one looks like it would be a red coin, but it most certainly is not. I hate these things. Maybe I should go to the left first. No, no, no. Hello, coolified. <gasps> okay, that's the one on this side. Okay, and I- yeah, that's the only one in here. Why did I do that? Why did I even do that? Just slowly inch your way down. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. That's not though, because I can't, I can't claim the baby with fire as much as I wish I could. <laughs> this stupid area. I'm gonna need more eggs. Do I have any eggs? Yes, I do. Okay, okay. The main thing that you don't want to do is panic. Panic is the enemy. Panic is how you get a knot in your diaper. So, second room. Okay, again, I have no idea if this is what they want you to do, but I can't see what else it would be. Ah, crud. Maybe I could just throw an egg at it. If there's one thing I admire about this level, it's the various callbacks to the start of the game. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's not the worst level ever, it's just like, you, you know. You know. Okay, so we're here. And again, there's one- just quit that.
and you it's like it's kind of inconsistent if you're allowed to just hold the button down to flutter jump there better be a re yeah okay be like there I think I gotta tap it to in order to do it again even though it feels like I should be able to just hold it down okay wonderful got to do this again it Now I notice it, the map has a little like two star icon, which I have no idea what that means. All right, good. I forgot about that. Okay. I mean, there's no red coins in like the middle area here. Hey, Dustin, how do you feel about instant death spikes? I'm not a huge fan, to be honest with you. Like, it, I feel like it kind of nullifies the point of having a health bar most of the time. Especially in a game like this. Because, as Isaac has pointed out, almost nothing else actually kills Yoshi. But for some reason, the spikes do. You got me. There's only one thing worse than a health bar. A child. No. Okay, so there is one over here. Yeah, that one. And then there is one up here. And that would be it. But I am still going to collect the others because I am afraid. Now, I don't remember if I got this, but there is a secret up here. Dustin doesn't trust the map. I don't trust anything anymore. Oh man. No, I want to get the secret because I think that would be cool. Instead, I'm just losing the child. Crap, I'm just shy. It, it's just a one-up, though. I just thought it, I thought it would be neat to show, but I don't have time for this. So, okay, got those. Now, I've been through the two left and the two right, so I think it's time for the middle. It's like, it's scary. It's scary. And then again, there's one coin in the Chomp Rock area. Mm -hmm. 
Yoshi's taking eat lead a little too literally. See, yeah, nothing over here. The one red coin is down here. Ah, uh, crud, crud. Don't, don't leave me. Don't leave me hanging, Chomp Rock. Hey, ZJ. Okay, so now we're down here. So yeah, this this flower here is pretty simple. Just spit that guy in there, wait for him to face left, and get it. Now, what all is down here? There's the pipe. Now, where did... Where did Chomp Rock go? I lost the Chomp Rock. I looked away for a second. Okay, there it is. Now, as I've said before, just kind of... Plop it in there. Grab the key. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and go over here. Just go ahead and get these. Okay. And then go back. Also, hello, Kovar. Okay, before I do this, before I do this, let me scroll the map down. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in this area. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh crap, that's where I was meant to jump. <laughs> I messed that up. Now, I'm pretty sure I hit this, like, right before I was going into the, uh... Before I was going into the, uh, chain chomp rock area, but let me just double check. Let me count just to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so yeah. This is right before the Chomp Rock area. So I can just swoosh right in there again. Oh dear. Is this a new stream layout? Uh, no, it's just the, uh, GBA scene that I've set up. So, I mean, I mean, technically, I guess? I just, I must just rarely see you play GBA then. Yeah, I haven't played much on GBA. I'm trying to remember, like... What, what have I done on GBA? I did Shrek Hassle at the castle, I know that much. Uh, that might be about it, I don't know.
that'll change in the near future though because once I get done with Sonic Adventure 2 I'll be doing the uh, I'll be doing the advanced games at some point is there anything besides the GBA with a 3 by 2 aspect ratio? Beats me. Okay, now what does the pipe lead to? Oh, the pipe is the exit to the Baby Mario area. So you know what, I'll, I'll go ahead and hit the checkpoint. So there's five circular platforms. So one red coin, two red coin, three red coin, and then last circle is over here, four red coin, I mean, I messed that up, but I'm double checking. So you want to go to the right, jump up there, then you want to go down the hole and then across the spikes, which is what I believe I did before. I just want to make sure I, I get it right this time. They don't give you a, a large timer for Super Baby Mario. Maybe I can make it work anyway. I forgot what I did before. There's a red coin down there. No, I don't think so. So I gotta... I gotta go down that hole as Baby Mario, or I gotta get across as Yoshi. Which I think I did do last time. I got through it as Yoshi, but it's easier said than done. Well, technically I can skip the first platform because there's not a red coin on it. Just save everybody a bit of time.
Okay. There we go. Now, now I got something here. Crap. Baby Mario controls like a flaming turd. Okay, I'm being a little harsh, but... Okay, but we, we got everything regardless. Poochie, please do not kill. There are no red coins up there. Anyway, let's move on and hope for the best. <laughs> Me controlling a flaming turd, this feels a lot like Baby Mario. <laughs> Okay, now, there's nothing over there. That's just the only thing here. So now I just need to do this number. Okay, I missed the platform. Because this is- this is the most annoying thing in the known universe. Not even particularly dangerous, just annoying. Just like pure chaos unfolds and Yoshi is powerless to stop it. Okay, there's nothing up here. I thought maybe there was. But I think, yeah, what I see on the map is just the like bounce circle thing. Okay, you do not need to exist. Please leave. There's one red coin up here. I need to get up. Because you gotta get up to get down. Okay, I have all the red coins. This is verified. So, I just need the last flower, which I know where that is. That's at the end here. Do they ever explain why Kemek actually wants this baby? Like, what purpose does baby Mario serve to him? He predicted the, bro the bros will be bad for Bowser psychically. Yeah, actually, sure, why not? Okay, so now I have 100%ed every possible Yoshi's Island level. Now, like I said, I didn't 100% the GBA version exactly, so we don't get to see the cutscene. However, I will see if it is on YouTube. Okay, yeah, the secret ending. <clears throat> so, let me just turn my GameCube off. We don't need that anymore. Let me see, how do I get the pop-out player? Oh, like, copy embed code, maybe, I can do? Okay, it's not, it's not there. It is not that way. Maybe I can, I can fix it. I can fix it. 
There we go. Okay. Oh, it's running. It's running kind of stinky. The video low frame rate. But we'll we'll still get to see the roughly like what happens here. Oh wait, he, he goes through the bonus game here. job you are the 507th Yoshi to adventure on Yoshi's Island Yahoo! is this a unique song sounds like link to the past He doesn't look very happy about it. I mean, I wouldn't be either if I just got done with that level. I say smiling, proving my point wrong immediately. E. N. D. Ah! Fridge! Yeah, it does kind of sound like Delfino Plaza, doesn't it? Okie doke. Well, as I said, we got we got some bonus stuff we're gonna do, so gotta. Transfer some stuff around real quick. You'll be patient with me. All right, so I got that. I got that going. That's what my Super NES looks like on my <laughs> GBA layout. You are never supposed to see that. But the truth is I don't, I don't actually care that much. So. Got that. Now we just uh, flip on over to the SNES scene. I got to... Change the resolution. There we go. Now the last thing I need to do... ...is double check what I had the volume on. So part 4 was negative 4. And this is... Yeah, negative 4. So... Anyway, what we're gonna do here... We're going to check out the prototypes. See a little bit of Yoshi's Island's past. Oh wait, hang on, let me change the uh, Twitch game name. That real quick, okay. Yeah, it's the reason it says Rons instead of ROMs is because it's like I said, it's like sort of like it's 
SNES optimal, right? So if I did this and like stretched it out, you can kind of tell a little bit. Well, I mean, you can't because you can't see it anymore. But yeah, it's like it makes it one to one pixel aspect ratio. Then you got like. Yeah, like if you set it to generic four by three. Let me see here. Well, it's a little bit better. Yeah, I don't know. It basically the point I'm trying to make the OSSC. It, it's because it's set for the SNES's normal resolution. Anyway, first thing I'm gonna check out: Super Donkey. This is him. It it is Super Donkey. So you might think that this isn't Yoshi's Island. What are you talking about? But I think. I think, you know, there is a lineage here. You can see, like, it has the Yoshi's Island art style, the same kind of, like, animation techniques. So I think this was part of the Yoshi's Island lineage. Like, it's still... You know, it, it led to Yoshi's Island. So, like, you press Y, and this little bar charges up. So, you let it fill up all the way. And, uh, you can fly around. Which seems a little broken. I mean, maybe it was gonna be a, just a debug thing. Uh, like we got, we got frame advance. That's pretty cool. You can press L to, like, basically pause. And press R to just advance frames. X makes you do like a ground pound and it sort of does that Mario World sprite. Then you can grab stuff, climb on it. What can I do? Oh, he crouches. Hey, look, he crouches under. That's neat. Okay, get up. Get up there. No! Oh! I don't think there's a run button, at least not in this version. <laughs> the jump isn't quite taking. I mean, I could just fly up there, but then I'd have to wait for the bar to jump. You know what? Yeah, we're flying. This dude moves like Rayman. Yeah, it's basically Rayman. Pretty well animated, too. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, so now we're up here. Can see more of the level, climb a tree, float through the air, climb up trees. And in, in case you're wondering, no, there's there's just genuinely no sound. Uh, that's not that's not a me thing. That's a they hadn't actually added any sound effects yet. Oh, you just kind of just barely make it up there. How did I do a higher jump? Now, like, maybe if you like charge it up. Yeah, I think I think if you charge, it also affects how high your jump is. Ooh. So you can't stand on that. He immediately falls off. Burp. So can I can I charge like? Charge it on here. Well, not really. Okay. Yep, get. Get. A little mini map. That's pretty neat. Okay. Oh, what is this? Oh, I'm in the background now. Background layer. Virtual Boy Wario Land. I wonder if there's a timeline where Virtual Boy Wario Land got released for the SNES. That'd be pretty cool. I'd I would have liked to have played a Super NES Wario Land. But nah, he was he was sticking to portables. Hmm. 
Wario was not interested in home consoles, except for his woods, perhaps. Which is not a euphemism for anything, it's just, it's very literal, I assure you. Okay, so did I wrap back around? This looks like earlier in the level. No, it's not. Okay. I mean, you know, it's not too shabby. I, you know, there's some cool mechanics here, like, you know, the climbing on stuff. This, this dude kind of looks like Stanley the Bug Man, you know? A little bit Stanley-esque. Oh. Though, at the, at the same time, I can also kind of see what, why this idea wasn't pursued much farther than this. Like, the whole, the whole bar thing is a little annoying. I mean, not too much, but it's like... I don't know, it's kind of just like the Super Mario Bros. 2 charge jump, but worse. I'm just, I'm just wondering if there's an end to this. I've never actually played this far into this, into this demo before. So yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, this was part of the Nintendo Giga Leak. Where like a whole bunch of Nintendo's data got compromised via IQ, their like Chinese distribution partner. And there's, there's just a whole mess of like data in there. Including a couple playable ROMs, such as this one. But this isn't even the coolest thing. You will see, my friends. You will see. I mean, we're still going here. Okay. Now I think we might have looped. This, like, I, I think this is earlier in the level. Let me, let me see. I mean, maybe, I don't know, I can't tell. We're kind of wrapping around all over the place. Like, I don't want to just... <laughs> like, I want to be comprehensive, at least somewhat. I mean, this might just be like a test area, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, that leads back here. It might just be a test area, you know, like, they, this, they might not have gotten far enough to actually have levels yet. Because, like I said, keep in mind, this is a prototype. You know, this isn't a game that actually came out. This is just, like, Miyamoto and his friends having a faff about, you know? Having a jolly old time. And frankly, you know what? I, I don't condone the hacking of Nintendo. It's still really cool we get to see this, and I recognize that Nintendo never would have released it otherwise. <laughs> no, can I go down? I wanna, like, I wanna drop down. Okay, yeah, I, I think that's it. I think that's all to see of Super Donkey 1. However, there is another build of Super Donkey, and that is this one. So as you can see, a little different. There's some new stuff here. The bar has been like touched up a bit, I believe. Still got the ground pound and everything. There's a monkey. So, Mr. Donkey here can pick up this little device and he can shoot arrows out of it. Which kind of feels like a Yoshi's Island mechanic. You know, you're starting to see a little bit of the DNA start appearing. Can't climb these while you have it though. And see, look, it's like the little pill bug from Yoshi's Island. The thing I use to farm one ups. He's here. He's here. And he's beautiful. Oh, Donkey got a little messed up a little bit. So yeah, this is a nice looking little area with treat. Like the, the trees have animation and everything. That's pretty cool. They have like different looks for how you're stepping on them. Give me over there. Give me over there. Oh, nope. Nope. I'm falling. 
into the abyss. So yeah, I think, again, this is more of a... a test level than an actual, you know, like, playable thing. I mean, it's playable, but you know what I mean, it's not a level. Did I miss most of the Yoshi's Island stuff? Uh, yeah. But we're doing Yoshi's Island prototypes now. Oh, it's a dog! Look at this dog! Look at that dog! Look at this dude. And there's like Mario stars up here. You can cling to the ceiling. No, this isn't Beta Poochie, this is Evil Poochie. Dark Poochie. I'm not sure if clinging to the ceiling serves any purpose. And there's the monkey. I can hold him. I can cherish him forever. He doesn't do anything, but I, I can do it. Oh, there's a mushroom. There's a mushroom man. He's really wacky. Look at him. Wacky mushroom dude. Love him. Somebody should, like, draw some art of the beta enemies in Super Donkey. I will retweet that on the Twitter if you do. Okay, so I know there's something else here. Oh, I press start, and I fall through the world. And now, we are in LSD hell. I, I don't know what the purpose of this is besides giving me... A headache. Now, I know there's more to this one than this. The other one I wasn't sure, but this one, there I know there is. But I may have to reset. <laughs> may have to reset that one. Actually, I could just do this. Creating bitrate funkiness. Oh, I'm sorry. Monkey. Come with me, monkey. Come with me. We must find... We must find the thing. We must find the content in which we are missing. Because I know, I know it's here. I know it exists. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. Let me climb up here. Still no sound, by the way. Give us more LSD hell? Okay. Well, see, this is... Oh, wait, I can't. I fall through the level when I do that. No, wait, wait. It's back. Maybe. Yeah, okay. There we go. Here. So, I think in addition to, like, testing some palette stuff, it also turns the collision off and back on. So, I think that's what's going on. Like, it was just a multiple function debug, but... Oh, here we go. Here we go. The exit. Boop, ba doop ba doop and see, so here we go, we got like a, we got a log cabin. Ain't that just nifty. Ooh. You can hear a pin drop, let me tell you. The roly-poly enemy is straight out of Yoshi's Island. Yeah, that's what I said. Sorry, I don't, I don't want to sound, like, mean about that, but I'm, I'm saying, yeah! You know? Yeah, oh, oh. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. But happen, it did anyway. But yeah, I mean, you can tell just by looking at this game, really, that this is Yoshi's Island adjacent. And I, I definitely think that first they were toying... Ooh, this is a wacky area. Looks like a greenhouse, almost. But I feel like they were toying around with this, and then they just kind of scrapped it. But they were like, well, we don't want that to go to waste, so let's, well, you know, let's turn it into a Yoshi game. So this is kind of like, ooh, nighttime, night starry time place. Honestly, I, I just, I think stuff like this is so cool. Oh, no, wait, this is the same area I was before, just, like, up higher. No dog, no doggy. Oh, hi, doggy. Hey, 
And yeah, you can just sort of flip up these. Some sort of emergent mechanics. There's a lot of stuff that I don't know if I'd be able to show on the stream, like, uh, you know, like unused sprites from Yoshi's Island. But if you go to the cutting room floor, you should be able to find everything you need. Everything you need, my son. Excellent site. Do recommend. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I just want to explore this somewhat thoroughly. And we should still have at least an hour to look at the Yoshi's Island prototype proper. And don't worry, that one will have music. I mean, apparently in the code of this somewhere, there's like a, a classical song that was meant to play. But for whatever reason, it doesn't play in the actual prototype. At least not without hacking it. But yeah, it's just it's just so neat to see like where some of your favorite games came from. Like how they started the amoeba of the game, if you will. I I think that's about it for Super Donkey 2. So we'll we'll get to the main event now. Super Donkey 2 has kill planes. I don't think that it does. I think you just have to reset. So there's two prototypes of Yoshi's Island that leaked, but as far as I'm aware, they're pretty similar. But this one has like the actual proper Yoshi's Island music. The original prototype has like Super Mario World music and sound effects, which I think is very interesting. But there's some stuff in here that I think I would want to go with this version. Oh wait, this is the... This is the Mario World version. Well, uh, demonstrated here. So yeah, it's using all, like, Mario World stuff. But that's not the one I want. Did I not... Is this, does this work? I swear, I was playing this the other day. That that one's broke. I might have to, like, uh, go in and fix the ROM. Might be a header issue. Yeah, but I, I thought I had the one with the fixed header. Hmm. Well, let me see. What do I got to do here? Get this to work. What do I do to get you in a Yoshi's Island prototype today? Oh, also, as always, this is playing on real hardware, so... Just in case you wanted to know that. Well, I mean, I say as always, but it, maybe not always. So, what do, I, what do I have to do to get this to work? Let me see. Be... Speaking of prototype restoration, you gotta play Kanoko Island when it finishes. I'm gonna play it in at least some fashion. Whether that be on my own, on stream, I don't know. But I'm definitely going to, uh, look at that. So let me see, uh... Okay, to get the ROM working, you have to change a byte. So let me... Create a copy with the fix. Now let me open my hex editor. You're not seeing any of this, but it is happening. So here's what it says. It says you got to change 30 at 20 to, oh God, wait, wait. Change 30 to 20 at X7FD5. So, let me see. Go to... 7FD5. Go, go there. 
It contains an invalid digit. Okay, go there. So, I mean, this says 20. Hmm. Because you might also need to change 3 to 5 at XFBD. Depending, says depending on the emulator. But I'm using, I'm using real hardware, my friend. What do I do for that? So yeah, change 3 to 5. Wait, I need to make sure I'm still at the right. Address. Yeah, right here. Three, two, five. I mean, there might be like, I don't know if this is like garbage data at the stop of the start of the ROM. Oh, you need to change 30 to, wait, wait, what? Did I, did I do that? Okay, it is 20. So let's, let's give that a try. Let's give that a try. See if that boots. I swear I thought I had a version of this ROM that booted. But maybe I'm misremembering. Let's, let's, let's try though. Oh wait, I don't got, I don't got no signal. Where's my signal? There we go. Before I switch my monitor, let me just see if this works. Try this. There we go. Okay. The ROM has been fixed. It will now boot. No audio in this intro sequence here. And yeah, it's unlocalized. I mean, naturally, if you get a prototype this early, it's not going to be in English. It actually does say at the, at the top there, Super Mario Brothers 5, which I think is funny. <laughs> I understand why they took that away, though. Also, there's a little chairlift on top of the mountain. Is that in the final game? I don't think it is. Super Mario 64 should have been Super Mario Brothers 6. Well, either way. So, let's check out the introduction here. Okay, there is no introduction. So, in that case, I'm going to restart. I, I thought maybe there was a, you know, different... <laughs> a different intro level or something, but no, they hadn't implemented that yet. So, if you start on Data 1, you get all the levels unlocked. And you may th think this song is familiar. And yeah, it's the extended cut of the song. Who would have thought? Also, this map is gorgeous. I I think I honestly feel like we were robbed of this map. Like look, it's Salvo. He's on the map. I mean, maybe there was just too much stuff to animate, I don't know. But yeah, you, I think most of the map is the same. There's fog on this one though. Really pretty map screen though. And yeah, you can tell they just they didn't have anything. They didn't have any they didn't have a lot for the rest of them. But the first the first one is just plain gorgeous. So there are three control types. 
So, I- obviously I can't read anything this says. So, I'll just- I'll try all three of them. So, level 1-1. One, one. Jennifer might be able to help. Oh, I didn't even think about that. So, the eggplant works differently. Much more instantaneous, and it just sort of leaves it there. Okay, so Y button aims the egg. Right? A button is, the, is your tongue. B button is jump, but that's to be expected. X doesn't seem to do anything. Neither the shoulder buttons. The pause screen is totally different, though. Also, these items are all corrupted for some reason. Don't know what any of those do. So, here's something I think is cool. If you do this, Yoshi will lob the egg. Right? Like that. And like this. Oh, no. And like that. That is a mechanic that is not present in the- not present in the final game at all. So, if you want to do it like in the final game, you gotta let it charge up. Like this. You can still, like, change your aim, lock it on. Do that. Choose an item, see what it does. Okay. Uh... I think that gave me one extra second. Yeah, it gives me some more time. I don't know if it actually used the item, though. Oh. Little bit of tile corruption right here. Baby Mario looks a bit funny with that nose. Oh, I didn't even notice he's got like a little nose. Also, another fun fact on the note of like unused sprites there exist sprites in some of these prototypes for like a baby wizard. And it's implied that Baby Mario was not gonna be Baby Mario at some point. So you pump this, bunch of eggs come out. It's this thing. Get five points. Yoshi's a little slower. He doesn't jump quite as good. Okay, this is- this is interesting. So like, Yoshi can eat this stuff in the prototype. And in fact, he automatically does so if you stand next to it. Does an egg still destroy it? Yeah, okay. Egg still destroys it, though. I think the coins are a little different. They're shaded a little differently. Also, another interesting thing. Yoshi cannot eat enemies. Or at least cannot turn them into eggs. If you want to get an egg, you have to stomp on them. So this is before the point where Miyamoto walked into the boardroom and said, No! The egg's gotta come out his ass! And the stars were little clocks. Also, you can go way higher than 30. These things are still in there, though. Chomps are kind of aggressive. And look, Mild is already in here. And this is what the goal looked like. He had like a little goal post. And the stars were much brighter. And I still don't get a bonus.
So yeah, this is how the scoring is done. Okay, so I just... Originally, the game was going to, like, grade you on enemies killed, and I'm kind of glad they didn't do that. I'm not going for 100% in the prototype, so don't ask. Okay, so, uh, ask Jennifer, what, is, what does this say? I'm, I'm guessing it, like, this switches the tongue and, uh... It switches the tongue and the, uh, egg throwing, which I might want to do, honestly. This, though... I have no idea what this is. Like, what's, what's type 3? What does type 3 say? <laughs> Yellow square says jump, yeah. The green and the, the gray one are my primary concern. Purple square says Roku. Oh, no, 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 no. Lock. It's, a uh, Locku. Green button right now says Nagaru. And gray one says Taberu. <laughs> that that does not that doesn't help, <laughs> to be honest with you. But I'll try the second one. Just well, yeah, we'll try them out. Okay, we're in the woods. So yeah, egg and tongue are swapped. That's the primary difference, I believe. Prototype watermelon. It's kind of just like a fruit. Some kind of weird fruit. Ugh, what, is, what are you? Nagaru means throw, and Tabaru means eat, according to Gugu Translate. I don't know what enemy this is. Maybe it... It might be the pill bug? No, no, maybe it's monkey. I'm trying to tell based on its behavior. Oh yeah, and the chain chomps, you originally had to like run over the... <laughs> you had to run over like the bud or whatever it is. And I don't think there's any red coins, which I, which is interesting to me. Crate. Originally had a lot more squishy to it. So yeah, you had to stomp on him to get an egg. Okay, baby Mario is here. His palette is completely wrong. But he's here. So one thing I find interesting, and I may have to like visually demonstrate in a little bit, Oh yeah, he's got a massive nose now. One thing I may have to visually demonstrate is that in the other prototype that I played for like a second, how do I how do I leave? I want to not be Baby Mario anymore. Uh, Baby Mario, like is like so he sort of hovers off the ground. Like his sprite doesn't match his hitbox, and I actually know exactly why that is because originally they wanted the star to turn baby Mario into adult Mario. And there's like a, an interview where Miyamoto says something to that effect. Oh, hey, there's actually like lock on, I think. But yeah, Miyamoto said something to that effect. And you can tell that like the reason his hitbox is misaligned is because originally they were using big Mario sprites. And I just, I think that's fascinating. They decided against it, if I recall right, because they thought it didn't make a lot of sense. 
they thought it didn't make a lot of sense with their, uh... <laughs> with their storyline. And honestly, I, I agree. That wouldn't have made a lot of sense. Oh! A transformation. Helicopter. I am the helicopter man! No sound effects, no, like, transformation music. But the transformation is here. Oh. Yeah, and the <laughs> the block just brought Baby Mario to you, and you had to get him on your own. So yeah, R toggles the lock-on feature. Oh, that's right, I can't actually swallow the enemies in this. So yeah, it just, it had lock on. So you could just, uh, tap it and lob it at an enemy real quick. Real quick and fast. I, I cannot eat the enemies. Dustin, they did not invent eating the enemies yet. Let's see what's in here. Cave? Okay. Uh, cave with the background corrupted a little bit. Such an odd omission since he could eat the enemies in Super Mario Bros. 4. Yeah, I mean, I guess maybe they just figured, you know, it would nullify it too much, maybe? Like, they thought, okay, if we let Yoshi eat the enemies, then that removes the threat of the enemies. Super Mario Bros. 4. Uh, that's the... Like... I, what's, what's the opposite of a subtitle? Like, the main title of... It's not, it's not even a subtitle, though. It's like, because the game's still... It's Super Mario World. <laughs> but I'm trying to think, like, it's the super title or something. And yeah, the camera followed the egg. So yeah, this is this is something they talked about in another interview, is that baby Mario just kind of crawled on the ground. And they changed it to crying and being in a bubble because players would just ignore him. <laughs> if you leave the enemy in his mouth, does he do that here? You know, that'd be an interesting thing to try. Also, I'm pretty sure this background never appears in the final game. But yeah, it, it really is just sort of a alternate reality experience here. Like, what What if Yoshi's Island just went just a little bit different? <laughs> Yoshi's Island prototype be like, this is sure is a real popular song. Who wants to hear it 50 times more? Uh, the Homestar Runner references are strong tonight, I see. Oh, did I just- I just get a 1-up for that. The, so there's no bonus game, from the looks of things. So yeah, originally red coins were just killing enemies. Which again, I think is very interesting. Okay, now, what do we got here? Well, we got a little bit of a graphical glitch in the bottom right, and we got the Shy Guys on stilts. Oh, nope. Ow. And yeah, you stomp on them. Oh, wait, I meant to test the... the Kovar theory. The enemy in mouth theory, let's see.
so far it's not looking like he does. Better give it like six minutes just to be safe. Ugh. But yeah, I, I don't I don't think he does. Uh, I didn't see any of that. And also, I did not get the cloud. Oh, they, they were having fun with these things. It's kind of funny how the- e oh, that's how you're supposed to do it. It's kind of funny how the eggs don't rotate, to be honest. Oh, nasty, nasty cutoff. I don't know how to get up here. No! That was my only egg! We've got to get more time. Oh, okay, that one just exploded. Okay. I do want to see if I can get up there. There we go. Except, no, that didn't do anything. Never mind. Oh, you probably want to, like, land it on the, the block. I don't know how you activate the blocks, to be honest. Yeah, like I said before, camera follows the eggs, which is a little, a little nauseating. Uh. Okay, so I guess you just gotta do this. The meter at the bottom reminds me of Super Donkey. I mean, it's probably related. It's probably in there, in the lineage. Okay, flower, get. Flower, get. I wanna go up here. No, Yoshi, stop trying to eat the mud. We don't need you to do that. Oh, wait, wait. I want that. I want it. <laughs> okay. That bandit just... <laughs> experienced life and death in the span of half a second. Shoot the targets to get extra time. I cannot get off of this. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it seems like in the original Yoshi was just stuck on it. Ooh, a hut. That's a Mario World door sound effect. Oh, we got ejected into space. Oh, no, not this again. Oh, you can't do that. Hurrah! Yoshi's got a transparent pixel where he probably shouldn't. Okay, I have no idea what I got from any of that. Don't know what, what the purpose of me doing that was. game has crashed. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so let's just let's skip ahead to one four. See what that is. Do 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 do. Yep, this is the only song in the whole game. Well, in the map screen. I cannot I cannot eat the enemies. I need I would do well to remember that. They even had like a transform into egg animation and everything. But yeah, the, as you can tell, these a lot of these levels are like completely different or they're like based on you know, or they, they were moved around, you know, like, I think this is in a later world than World 1, if I'm not mistaken. Like, I do think this is, like, this did become a level in the final game, but I don't remember where and when it was. Some of these levels were just completely scrapped, though. Oh. That thing. The icky paint like goop. A couple layering issues there. It wanted to play the castle theme. It wanted to Panasonic Blu-ray so bad. But they didn't even have... Sony Betamax at this point. Miyamoto was not watching Home Alone. I'm pretty sure, like, okay, again, correct me if I'm wrong on this. I'm pretty sure that, that normally that is only ghost guys up there, like the ghost shy guys that do that. Like, I don't think it's ever like normal shy guys. But again, could be wrong about that. Oh, dude, I just remembered. I remembered one of the differences I need to show off, but I, I'm gonna do this first. Oh yeah, I got it, okay. I mean, I'm gonna try to get, you know, what I see, but you know, this is, ju this is just a leisurely stroll through the game. And I'm probably not gonna, I'm not gonna, probably not gonna play all of it because I, I don't know how long that'd take. But we're gonna see as much as we can. We're gonna try to get the thorough experience. Yeah, just a lot of time. A lot of time up there. Yeah, you can tell that they, they wanted to play a different song, but I guess Koji Kondo just hadn't turned in the tapes yet. I love how mediocre this level design is compared to the final. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit of a rough draft. They hadn't quite nailed it down yet. Okay, but before I move on to the next one, I want to show you something that I, I, I think is very interesting in this game. So, let me just knock baby Mario off. Purposefully avoid him. Oh, you can pick him up with your tongue. I didn't know that. <laughs> That's so... That sounds so bad, no offense. Yeah, like right there. The toadies are snippets. And, in fact... You are a little flat. Yeah, see, they even have the pre-rendered sprite and everything. And I just think that's awesome. Anyway, let's let's try number three in Teeter Totter Goonie Land. Oh, there's the goal right there. You can see it. So yeah, this is definitely like, I feel like this became Hop Hop Donut Lifts. I can't say for sure though. It's different, but it, it does kind of feel similar. Or maybe it was another level in like a later world. 
No, okay, it's diverged. So I'm trying to figure out what the difference is between these control styles. I haven't quite figured it out yet. I don't think there was like a level super like this. I don't remember the teeter-totter thing at least. It might like affect... Oh, giant donut. Giant donut. Oh wait, I missed the flower, dang it. If there were no differences because they hadn't programmed them yet. Yeah, that would be funny. Yeah, see, this 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 part feels very like hop hop donut lifts, considering that there are donut lifts. This is different though. But it, it, it might affect like whether, like what sort of egg mode you're on by default. Oh, hey, a checkpoint. And yeah, you see it go way past 30. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Oh, baby Mario's dead. Baby Mario is dead. Can you imagine if I could die like that in the final game? Can you imagine? That would suck. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I just want, I just want to hit that cloud, please. And yeah, the Goonie Birds appeared way earlier than they do in the final game. <laughs> Miyamoto watched the Goonies and was like, put that in. <laughs> Write that down, write that down! <laughs> okay, here we go. I love, I love the gold noise. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna go back to control style number two. I like that better. Actually, okay, uh, if Jennifer's still nearby, ask her what the gray one says here. I love the little, the little sprite of Salvo. He's squishing. He's having a good time. He says the green and the gray switch places. Right? Right she is, they do. Yeah, so I think they just hadn't programmed it in yet. Okay, cave. Cave. I notice it says like world one some like world one six of some or something like that. No, it doesn't say that, right? I don't know, there's some kind of number in there. Oh, okay, so depending on the height at which you press this, it, it changes how many... It changes how many eggs you get. Oh, and I can get the egg back. <laughs> yeah, they... <laughs> this is like I said, this is the only Okay, I ate the bat. Okay, Yoshi will eat the bat. Science has been conducted. He will eat the bat. He will cause COVID. Q 
Yo, she eats drywall. He would. He would. Oh, the tall guy. <laughs> Face the other way. Okay, he doesn't do the watermelon spitting thing yet. No, give me that. Give me that. That's mine. That's mine. I always love these little pumpkin dudes. Little jack-o'-lantern looking dudes. Look at that. Look at this dude. Look at the top of his head. So yeah, the chomp rocks are basically fully accounted for. They should be able to kidnap Mario and if they get off screen you lose. I mean, I think that's what's going on. I have no egg. Heavily implied the jack-o'-lantern guys are shy guys wearing spooky costumes. Well, that's even better. That's even better. You know, they- now that- now that you mention it. Now that you mention it. <sighs> Mole tank. Mole tank. Mole tank. Oh wait, there's no red coins. Why am I going for these? Uh, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. I didn't win. <laughs> Just lay flat on my back. Okie doke. I got you. I understand what you're putting down here. Oh, thank you for one coin. I needed it so badly. Oh, more mole tank section. Yeah, the weird fruit. <laughs> watermelon was originally weird fruit. Which I think is funny because spitting watermelon seeds is just like such a universal thing, I thought. <laughs> Miyamoto saw a watermelon and said, put it in. Write that down! I am- I cannot get Yoshi to face the right way. There we go. But it's much- it is much too late for me now. <laughs> oh yeah. Big points. Big points. So this is the watermelon level. Oh, sorry, the weird fruit level. The Wumpa level. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot <laughs> saw that and was like, Write that down, write that down! Oh yeah, mad points. Mad point. I need I need Babu. Oh, you made me lose my chomp rock. I am absolutely furious about that. Crash Bandicoot, yes, the creator of the Crash Bandicoot series. Well, okay, I couldn't remember who actually did it. But you know what? Maybe Crash did do it. Maybe it's autobiographical. Now, why- why a man? <laughs> why the man would make a- <laughs> an autobiography all about him dying repeatedly, I have no idea. Oh, I mean, yeah, I knew Naughty Dog made it, but I- I couldn't think of the name of the man. The legend. You know what, I feel like- I feel like that's a great injustice. So, let me- let me- Creator. Uh, says like... Jason Rubin, Mark Cerny. Those are some names I see in here. Andy Gavin. And Joe Pearson. And Charles Zimbillas. Oh, it's- oh, it's me! I'm my own worst enemy. Why is he throwing a sniffet? Why is he throwing a sniffet at me? So yeah, this is like the Lakitu wall. It took six men to say, it'd be funny if you stared at Sonic's ass the whole time. My sons! 
They're looking a little worse for wear, but they are still my son. Okay, give me that. Oh jeez, hang on. I thought I had to sneeze. Oh no, no, it's the, the, the cactus man. This level does not load its graphics correctly. At all. No part of this level was loaded correctly. Now see, that's a good level length right there. <laughs> that's how long Yoshi's Island level should have been, if you asked me. <laughs> the opposite level. The endless world of Yoshi's. <laughs> <laughs> the, the world of Yoshi's that ends quite quickly, in fact. The end full world of Yoshi. Oh, no, wait, yeah, it, says, it does say world 1-8, so that is correct. Well, not dash, but you know, it. it you get the idea. I'm the dash. Okay, these these buckets are useless to me. I need not bother with them. 3D door. Oh, here's another unique background. Kind of gaudy looking. Dustin can read Japanese if it has numeric characters in it. Well, not so much read as infer from context. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is real different. This is not the same. Oh, cool lava. Every level is different. No two levels are the same. Got this thing. It's also cool to see, like, what from the final game is here. You know? Like... Just, just to think, like, oh, they, they had this work in, like, real early. Give me that. Did I get it? I think I got it. Okay, I'm fine. Unlike these lava graphics. <laughs> they were sitting around and one of them said, Arrow ball needs to be done. C6! C6! G7! Oh. Oh. Watashi wa dinsetsu no mo- I don't know. I don't know what you're saying, Kemet. So Salvo is here. He is present. He has these like lava pits that strike me as a little dangerous. I mean, not just for me, but for him as well. I'm worried I may run out of egg. Okay, I have run out of egg. I am in a predicament. Oh, now I'm especially in a predicament. Okay, so it just doesn't use it up. Can I have one that gives me egg? No. That one won't even let you select it. Nope, okay. 
is that placeholder tile present on weird hardware or is it just an emulation quirk? This is real hardware, my man. This is as real as it gets. Oh, it sends you all the way back. Okay, no, I'm good. <laughs> What's the bonus? Luigi! There he is! Oh, so you use- you use the, like, Yoshi coins to play the minigame. The wizard's on the graffiti in the background. You're right, he is. Yeah, see? On the right there? Yeah, I was telling you about it. I was telling you about that the whole time. Actually, I should probably play that again so we can see some of the, some more of the unused tiles. Because we got like the magic PlayStation spell in there. And again, you know, this music. <laughs> we didn't have- this is all Koji Kondo had time to do. Ten up. Yoshi coin. Yoshi coin. Yoshi coin. Kemek. Okie doke. Moving on to world two. Also, I believe all of the icons, all of the level icons were redrawn between the prototype and the final. Especially because they removed the board. Another, like, unique background. Like, tic-tac-toe mountain. Get me up. Get me up. I need to get up. Thank you. That was a very worthwhile endeavor. A lot of the tiles are the same as final, but the backgrounds are 100% different. Yeah. Whoa. No, I need to- I need to get up. Please! How do I get up? There we go. Okay. There's the daisy. N not the daisy from, you know, Mario. The other daisy from Mario. And these things appear as Paper Mario enemies, I think. I think that's the same enemy. What? The man emerged from the bush only to die. He was not ready for what he saw. Poochie! Poochie! What you doing there, sport? What you doing there, boy? What you doing? He ain't doing... just... he ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Ain't doing nothing. He just follow. He's just following me around. Just hanging out. Me and the dog. A boy and his dog. You know, considering that Yoshi is Mario's steed, you you sort of got like. A boy and his dino and his dino's dog. A little weird. The hierarchy of pet ownership. And now Luigi has a dog of his own. It's funny how the canon develops in that way. Oh. Uh, the black train. Whoa, whoa, wait, did you see that? Uh, depends on what I'm seeing. I might have seen it. Did you see, like... What did you see? Like, I thought I saw something, but I don't want to look stupid. When you transformed baby Mario turned into the wizard baby and you into the train. Oh, so I didn't just see that. <laughs> 
Yeah, I thought I saw that, but I, I wasn't totally sure. Well, next transformation, I'll have to keep an eye out for that. God, the whole, the whole wizard baby thing is fascinating on it. No! <laughs> well, you know what? We're gonna get an opportunity to see it again. <laughs> they could at least put, like, one of those Sonic the Hedgehog signs down there. Tell me that's a bottomless pit. I don't know. Man, I'm so used to aiming the eggs with R now. Dang old muscle memory, let me tell ya. Uh, dang old, dang old talk about it. Throw the, throw the eggs with the R button, you know, you know, when you mean like, throw it. Like, uh, stop the, stop the ridicule in place, you know, yeah, man. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, I should have seen that coming. Oh. Yep, Poochie just serves no purpose. Ugh! Please! I mean, I don't know. I haven't figured out what purpose per Poochie could serve. It feels like you wanna, like, knock that down to get him over here, though. Okay, so... Yep, yep. Wizard baby. And he waves the wand and everything. I'm not crazy. Or at least not as crazy as I thought I was. You cannot turn, you cannot eat them to turn them in an egg. Finish this one. Is it just me or is Yoshi's like head a little misaligned on the sprite? He fell into the abyss, never to be seen again. This sign, the palette's wrong. Ooh. Watch me roll my eyes at the developers. Oh, it's the baseball man. Hello, the baseball man. Not that the head is misaligned, the shading is wrong. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, grab that. Oh, you're not gonna grab that? You're not gonna grab the egg? Okay, he's not interested in that. Ah, oh, crap, you, you goofed me up. You threw off my groove. And it's that wretched enemy right there. Didn't mean to do that. Again, with the explode. Oh, it takes out the enemies. It's like a POW block. Which is in the final game in some capacity. Oh, he gonna fall. Yep. Yep. Get falled, idiot. Baby Mario shenanigans. You can still say. St st you can still say. You can still stay. 
<laughs> sitting like this forever. And that is apparently harder to say than I thought it was. But then again, I'm not known for my prolificacy with my tongue. You can do that in the final, too. Oh, I know! I'm just saying that they did not change that. They did not change that between revisions. How do I... How do I get up? How do I get up? I need to get up. I, I don't know how. I, I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know how to finish this level. Maybe, like, if he shoots a cactus at me. Oh, well, I mean, I got up. But, uh, you know, if the, if the baby doesn't come with me, then it's kind of moot, isn't it? I don't know where he went. He's down there. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna just <laughs> leave. I'm just gonna leave. I mean, I don't know, was there a free move code in this? There might have been, like, a free move code. I feel like I remember there being free move. Oh yeah, there it was. There it was. How did I do it? It was like L, L, R, and X or something. Yep, yep. Okay, wait. Yes. Yes. I can cheat. <laughs> I mean, I can debug the game. That's what I'm doing right now. Whoa! I hit the wrong one, and thus I do not get the flower. If I can get this flower. Ah, oh, Pillbug! There he is! He's the same as in Super Donkey, I believe. Also, he's kind of changing colors a lot. Oh, it's- oh, the Tetris part. Yoshi's look up frame is different. Yeah, it seems like it. Oh no, oh no, oh no! How? Okay, now I died. <laughs> You know what? Let's move on. <laughs> we don't got- we don't got too much time to dawdle. You know what I mean? Stilt jumps. The ro- the rotatey thing. Oh, this is- this is a unique tile. More Mario World sound effects left over. I believe. I mean, maybe this is a Yoshi's Island sound effect, I don't know. Yep, baby wizardo. Okay, what's over here? What's over here? Why am I doing this? Am I doing it for the flower? Am I doing it for the vine? Uh, oh, collision on the helicopter might not be the best in the world. Bandit in the castle, what will he do? He will steal the baby from me and you. That's what he do.
There is Blarg. He's having fun. I will shoot him with my gun. Hey, you can't go over there. There's no lava over there. Oh, oh, invalid room, invalid room, cannot flutter. I feel like the bosses just might not have been implemented. That's the vibe I get. This is unique. No wait, no wait, this is no wait, this is kind of similar to something in the final. Never mind. Oh, and uh, even since the beginning they were like, there needs to be a flying condom. It is obscenely important that we have the flying condom. Still got big egg. But what does it do? It, it ain't do nothing. <laughs> I've trapped this man in purgatory forever. He will never know peace. Okay, never mind. Come on, come on, hit, hit it, hit, hit him with the, hit him with the big egg. <laughs> I don't know what it does. I, I'm not convinced it does anything. Also, you can't do the like super throw. You can't do the super throw. Lob only. Oh, it's Goomber. Here he is. And he still does that thing that he does in the final game. Good to know. And y Yoshi did that on his own. I didn't even- I didn't even make him do that. He was just like, I need this Goomba in my mouth right now. He didn't do it that time, though. Oh, oh, auto-scroll. Oh, oh, my, my baby fell down the hole! Okay, let's check out this one. And it's interesting to know that in the prototype, Fuzzy shows up way later in the game. You want the camera any lower, sir? Okay, there we go. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, hey, I know this level. Um, baby is unretrievable. God save us, please. You know, there's like, there is a sense of, like, yeah, I'm starting, I'm starting to understand why they changed this. But yeah, this is a stage from the final, or at least, roughly. Even that, I think. Okay, I don't think these guys were here. I might be wrong about that one. But I don't think they were here. Huh? Oh, okay. I thought maybe the game crashed. Up! 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 I can't go up. It is, it is not possible, my friend. 
Okay, never mind. Here it is. No, wait, that's not the same up as before. I've been swindled in a way. No, wait, no, wait, I need that. I need that. I need it. I need the flower. I don't actually need it, but I want it anyway. Oh. Okay, never mind. I've lost interest. <laughs> that was almost the Flintstones theme. Okay, it's just the it's just a stupid ball. It's just a stupid ball. I do know there are some unused mini games in the code somewhere. I don't know if it's possible to actually play them though. Oh yeah, isn't this that cave level that I said was completely nullified if you're not going for a hundred percent? Like it's the level where you just have to beeline... Beeline straight for the door. Uh, I don't actually see a door to go to though. I don't know if this level has an end. Does this level have an end? I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced it does. <laughs> okay, fuzzy level. Okay, the open meadow. That's different from the swamp of the final game. Oh, and they're just right here. They're just right here. No, wait, you know what? We need to grab it. Uh, not too different. About, about the same effect. Yeah. accomplished for me a fat lot of nothing I don't think okay but here you can use it to get egg I mean cloud you using it no I don't care anymore I don't I don't care about doing that anymore mm. oh dear And see, this this happened when Miyamoto got on a huge drug bender. Or maybe he was just eating rotisserie chicken. Yossi! Yossi. It, th there's no collision on it. Oh, no. No, no, no. Don't go in the hole. This <laughs> is...
And again, Yoshi just falls off the world. There's no surviving that. They, they found the edge of the world and they went off of it. The world was flat after all. Oh, this one's cool. Because it has like the rough foreground image. They hadn't finished it yet. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is unique. Oh, hey, look, it's him. Okay, so he doesn't roll down and attack you. He's just like... He's just like, you thought! You thought! It's basically just the Sonic bumpers. Also, you can't eat the bandits in the final game, I don't think. I don't think that's a thing you can do. Oh, into the sewer. Into the sewer, out of the sewer. Oh, it's that guy. Oh, and his icy brother. Watch out, Disney's gonna sue. And I don't think you can actually kill them. You can bounce off them, though. Oh, back in the poop again. What's over here? Oh, it's the pill bug room. Of course, every house has one. There's a lot going on in this one. Enters pipe, exits out of door. Is this just like a kill room or what? Okay, it's just, it's just that. It's just- NO! No, 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 no. Oh, you can't- right, you can't go up this. At least not really. I like that they play the fast music as if the timer's still ticking down. Yep, and they still have these levels with like 300 different ba branching paths. Oh, and here's the 3D section. Um, I need a key for that. And frankly, I'm not sure if I have the patience to actually look. <laughs> I'll look around a little bit, maybe. Oh, hey, look at the nippers. The little nipper plants. They're there. Hey, the lights all cut off. Pretty sure this is a torture method of some kind. Oh, 
Oh, there's the key. Give. Give. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. And for some reason, it's... No, no, it's in the... It's in the trail. The egg cue. The E cue. Which I'm doing on my voice right now. No music would be better than this at this point. No, your punishment must be more severe. Okay, now we can go in the cork. Okay, don't don't collect the evil flower. This is funky. And we're outside. Oh wait, this is that room, the bandit room. I remember this. So one thing I do notice though is that the clock doesn't go back up. You know, like in the final game, if you go under 10, it like counts back up to 10. You get no such luxury here. And the sniffets just sort of hover above your head like a vulture. Oh, here's a- here's a background. Oh, no! Okay, so this boss is in. If you're epileptic, you may want to look away. Okay, this boss is in, but he is extraordinarily unfinished. This boss does not work properly. I can't see any method of which to defeat him. I mean, if I had to guess, they were probably just using this to, like, test the visual effects. To see, like, if they could nail down what the boss was gonna look like. Okay, which one is this? Oh, wizard! 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 You didn't scratch it all off, mate. There's still some on there. Shy guy. Shy guy. Yeah, so they they must have stuck with that wizard baby for a while. If he made it into the bonus games. Okay, so I probably can't do this for too much longer, but we'll check out at least a few more. Oh, Cooper. Cooper. <coughs> Sorry, I think this music is making me deathly ill. Okay, thank you, Piranha Plant. Oh, hey, it's the shirtless Koopa. Does that... Wait. No, no, that's that's a, that's a normal thing. I remember now. You know, in real life, turtles cannot remove their shell. It is not possible. 
And if you see a turtle without a shell, it is probably going to die. Very imminently. They also don't wear undershirts, but I feel like that stands to reason. Where did you come from? Watch me swoosh right in. Light Zoid Scoob! They put every enemy in one spot! Every time it's funny. Every single time. What are you trying to say? I have no idea what just happened. Oh yeah, so this is a level that made it into the final. Oh, I knocked, I knocked him over. I done knocked him over. Bloody hell. Yes, he has many points on mine to be had. But unfortunately, the points don't matter. Thank you! Thank you! And that's the end. And maybe one more level we'll check out. I mean, maybe at some point I'll check out the rest. You know, like, I don't know, maybe I could just have like a prototype stream one day where I like finish the rest of this. Maybe show some of the Sonic 3 one on- I don't know. Okay, 3-3. Three, three. Oh, this is- this is a pretty cool background. This- this- speaking of Sonic, this kind of looks like a Sonic background. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of some of these, like, jumps they make you do on these things. Oh, especially if the piranha plant does not stay <laughs> attacked. And you can only flutter the one time. Okay, you know what, let's check out a different one. Let's, let's check out Hungry. Oh, 
Oh, hey, look, it's the it's the chain chomp. The chain chomp that's used in like one place in the final game. Oh, 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 God, please save me. He teleported up with no eye. Oh no, do you want to retry? Just boot me right the heck out. Mm, pardon me. Oh. Do not flutter. $300 penalty. Yeah, so we do know that this became a level in the final game. Though it looked different than this. Def definitely didn't look like this. What was that over there? Yeah, but the level seems to diverge a bit here. Like, they changed this up a bit. Oh, it didn't even give me the checkpoint. What gives? Ow. Yeah, I'm definitely glad they changed the Baby Mario mechanics. Because it's kind of annoying when Baby Mario falls down like 30 stories and you have to go get him. I mean, sure, the baby's legs are broken. <laughs> but is that anything compared to my inconvenience? Okay, that just- that just lets you back out here. Okay, go down here. What is- Why is the boo so small? Why is he so small? Why is he so small? Why? Okay. The arrow, the arrow ballroom. my arrow ball. I must go back to get it. Rise. There's no- there ain't nothing up here. <laughs>
Oh, wait, wait, I can take it to the goal. I can take it to the goal. Will anything funny happen? No. I was hoping Yoshi would land on it and just kind of like... But alas, Nintendo doesn't want me to have fun. Okay, so let, let's check out the bonus games and then we'll call it a night. Oh, I'm down 10 lives. <laughs> Great! Oh yeah, it's the the match game. One. Oh no, wait. This no, this is different. It uses the same sort of basis as the match game. Wait, let me let me play that one one more time. I want to see what that's all about. I'm guessing it's like okay, you 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 pay so many coins. You pay like five. And then you choose these numbers, and that shows how many coins you get. Yeah, so... See, I made six coins. So therefore I have turned a profit. I don't know how you get the coins. I haven't seen them anywhere. I mean, there might be unused, like, graphics for the coins in the... in the ROM. So... Maybe they just hadn't implemented them yet. The, the mummy blocks, yeah, they had to get those in. The mummy arrow blocks. Raukow has me calling them mummy blocks. Oh, this is just in the game. But, uh... That, we had to get those in, like, right... Right out of the gate. Had to get those in right away. But the coin, that probably would take five minutes to program... Can't do it. Can't do it. Okay, so the slot machine. You get nothing! Good day, sir. Okay, so... Before I leave, I'm about to. I'm about to leave. I think I would like to show a couple, like, little interesting things on stream. Just for the, just for the complete package, you know? I want to see if there's, like, what, what's the most interesting stuff? Let let me see. Anything that you just you can't see. Okay, so the shading on the uh, arrow sign is apparently pretty different. Let me just uh let me just uh you know capture window here. Yeah, right there. Kind of dark. I don't know if that's because HDR. Yeah, it is, probably. I got it on my main monitor. Let me just uh, do this. And let me just, uh, brighten this up a little bit.
Hmm. It's a little... It's a little weird. I don't know. I don't understand HDR. Let me just put it on my other monitor. That is not HDR, so you guys can see it better. So yeah. Sign. Where's my cursor? I thought I turned on the cursor. My cursor's not showing up. Oh, there it is. So yeah, the sign has different shading. Block. There's like a bone. Instead of that. That's different. Pipes are different, you know, shaded different. Okay, the tile set's a little different. I think you're missing some images there, mate. Yeah, I think some of these images are not showing up right now. Yep, you're right, the, uh, the looking sprite does indeed look different. Bike ball. I mean, okay, this is for the first prototype. They already had changed this in the one I played. <laughs> this, this monstrosity right here. Don't know why it's blue. Yeah, I think some of their images broke. They 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 changed the pill bug a little bit in the final. Oh yeah, see right there. And yeah, different colors that are not present in the final game. Oh, I didn't see the intro. Maybe you had to do something else for it. <laughs> Controller error. I wanna I wanna show you the yeah, the mini battles. Because this is something I was looking for and I didn't see. I gotta cover up my face a little bit for you to get the proper idea here. But yeah, these are, these are kind of different looking, but there's also, if I go down far enough, yeah, there's like this, this one here. Maybe I could just do this. No, that doesn't quite work. Oh no, wait, actually it does kind of work. Let me, let me try. Try this. Yeah, so this right here. Like there was a mini game where you had to, you know, drop missiles on like Bandit House. Destroy all four. No, no, wait. You just have to destroy the houses. Yeah, so that's not present. This is also not present. Baby Mario driving like a, a wagon. Not there. Is not present. Yeah, the icons are totally different. Items. All the levels are like differently named. So if you if you were curious what <laughs> if what they were called. So, the names in the Japanese prototype seem a lot less colorful than the English final. Like, it's all just blank course. Very funny. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I thought it was quite informative.
very fun, and I'm glad to have the closure on the base game, the Game Boy Advance one. Uh, next time will be SpongeBob, of course. And uh, Mega Man March Man Mad Man Man Monday Man is approaching quite rapidly. That's gonna be something.